Hello everyone and welcome back to another a musty chess game of Mikhail Tal, another notable chess game by the magician from Riga from 1988 and this chess game happened in the United States and his opponent uh, was a chess player named Jack Miller, another famous chess player and this was from a chess simul. Let's see what happened in this chess game. So Mikhail Tal starts the game with e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and we have the Italian game. Knight to f6, d4 charging the center, and we have two knights defense of the Italian game. d takes on e5, knight takes on e4, and then bishop takes on f7 by Mikhail Tal, sacrificing the bishop, but this is actually a temporary sacrifice. Tal is simply a pawn up. Bishop to e7, Mikhail Tal castled. D5, queen back, queen to d7, rook to e1, rook from a to f8, developing the knight. Well, Mikhail Tal is a pawn up, king to e8, and knight in, bishop to c5. Well, Mikhail Tal captured on e6 and leaving on f2. But black is getting back the pawn, but Mikhail Tal is also getting back the rook, who rook takes on f8. And we have bishop to g5, knight to b8, queen back, and Jack Miller captured on c2. Deflecting the queen is the idea. But Mikhail Tal was not a chess petzer, he played e6. If capturing the knight, that would be the funniest checkmate of all times. Rook to f1, checkmate. And Mikhail Tal is getting checkmated by an unknown chess player. In a simul. That would be something like a fat man who eats pizza and who likes to eat hamburgers every day beats Usain Bolt in a hundred meter sprint racing. In a hundred meter sprint racing. That would be funny. Or it would be something like a five years old kid beating Michael Jordan one on one basketball. So that's impossible. <laughs> so this is why. In this position, Tal pushed the pawn, not moving the queen, but pushing the pawn. But in this position, actually black is a pawn up. So queen to d6 and knight to b5. Defending the queen. And this is attacking the queen. Of course, if capturing the queen, rook to f1 is checkmate. Well, Mikhail Tal pushed the h-pawn, what a move, by Tal, sacrificing the queen. And we have queen to g3. If accepting the sacrifice, then knight takes on c7, and this is checkmate. And black is getting checkmated, and there is no defense. So the pawn is cutting the escape squares, also the bishop. And this is checkmate. So let's take it back. Queen to g3, rook to d1, and rook in, rook to f2, and black is threatening checkmate and how to defend. It looks like there is no defense. Maybe Mikhail Tal is busted. Well, in this position, Mikhail Tal captured the rook, queen takes on f2, sacrificing the queen. What an incredible move by the magician from Riga. And we have bishop takes on f2. What happens if queen takes on f2? Then black is losing by force, believe it or not. Pushing the pawn, king to g8, pushing the pawn, check. And this is losing. White is winning. So we have bishop takes on f2, but then rook takes on d5 by Mikhail Tal. And where is the check? There is no check. Well, black is giving up the queen for surviving. But let's take it back. If some random move, some very silly move, then rook to d8. Checkmate. Black is getting checkmated. And this is why in this position we have queen takes on h4 for getting a uh, for surviving. Bishop takes bishop. And after the smoke, Mikhail Tal has the rook. Knight takes on c4. And also he has the attack. Checking the king, blocking with the bishop. And rook to d5. The rook is coming to d7. A5, rook to d7, knight to b4, checking the king, king to g8, and then Mikhail Tal captured the bishop 
and this pawn is going to is going to match. Knight to c6, rook to f7, pushing the pawn is the idea. G6, pushing the pawn, and simply black resigned. There is no sensible defense in this position. So the possible continuation. King takes on f7, pushing the pawn, queen, and this is all over for black. What an incredible chess game by Mikhail Tal from start to finish. And this chess game also had many key moments. And it was quite an instructive chess game. So in this position, Mikhail Tal is not capturing the knight, of course. And he sacrificed the queen. But if accepting the sacrifice, capturing the pawn, that's checkmate. And in this position, he really did sacrifice the queen. And white has checkmate threat. So in this position, black has no decent defense. And this is all over for black. White is pushing the pawn. And basically black resigned. So this was actually a pretty famous chess game of Mikhail Tal from a chess simul. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. Probably you have seen this chess game. Uh, but I also want to show this chess game in this channel. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.